When the operator poured fuel into the fuel tank, it flowed out of the tank, through the fuel line and into the float bowl of the carburetor. And as it continued to flow in, it raised the float. This raised the needle valve and shut off any more fuel coming in. The operator reached down and activated the choke, or the cold start. That then activated this choke plate and closed it. Then, when the operator pulled the starter pull cord, this turned the engine's crankshaft and caused the piston to lower. As it did so, it created a suction pressure above it, which is felt all the way up through the induction tube of the carburetor. And because the choke plate or the choke butterfly is closed, thus restricting air coming into the carburetor, that pressure builds up inside the induction tube. And so this increased amount of suction pressure in here is felt all the way down the main jet. And so the restricted airflow enters the carburetor's venturi and the increased pressure inside there draws out a high volume of fuel. As the air hits this high volume of fuel, it atomizes it and the fuel accompanies the air through the induction tube and into the engine's cylinder above the piston. Because the engine hadn't been running previously and was cold, this large amount of fuel is going to be vital in getting the engine initially started. And therefore, this is the essence of the engine's cold start or choke system. And so the piston continues to lower, drawing in this mixture, a ratio that's rich in fuel compared to air. That is until we hear the engine initially fire. Because remember, we're still on cold start. And so this high ratio of fuel compared to air mixture is only good to get the engine to fire from cold. It certainly won't run on this increased amount. And if we try to do so and keep trying to start it with the cold start applied, it will just flood the engine with way too much fuel. Too much fuel for the engine to combust. And at this point, the engine will not start at all. So the engine initially fires and the cold start is removed and the choke butterfly on the carburetor is now open. And so this time when the operator pulls the pull cord and the piston lowers, there's less buildup of suction pressure inside the induction tube of the carburetor, meaning less fuel is being drawn out, and at the same time more air is rushing through, making the ratio of air to fuel mix much better for the engine to run successfully.